to this episode of Hot Tag. This is the second episode. Yeah, because I was the first episode. So now is my time to pass it forward, push it forward, pay it forward. There you go. There it is. I yeah. knew I could it's in the mail. It pay it forward. So today I am passing and pushing forward the Hot Tag questions to David Puente. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I am fantastic. I just had chicken with uh, caramel sauce, which people thought was going to be a terrible thing. It's really not that bad. So. Really? Yeah. Why? Did you do it on purpose? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I there wasn't. I spilled it on there. And... No, there wasn't a whole lot of barbecue sauce left, and I didn't want to use it all, and then open a brand new thing of hot sauce. So I was like, I'll just use some of this caramel. It's open. Why not? Really? Yeah. So caramel and chicken. You heard it here first. That's right. All right. So this is called hot tag. As seen on the Milo Beasley show. Oh. I'm gonna ask you five questions. Okay. When you answer these five questions, I will pass the card on to you, and you will go about in your daily life, and you'll find someone to ask these exact same five questions. Okay. And then they would have to pass it forward and forward and forward, and it'll be fun, entertaining shows for everyone. Yeah. I like it. All right. It's are you pressure. ready? Yes. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Number one. Who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, Larissa Olenek from um, uh, Secret World of Alex Mack. I was super, super, well, uh, I mean, oh man, I guess technically it would be Kimberly from the Power Rangers, but but Larissa Olenek, like, I don't know, something about, like I loved Alex Mack and I like would daydream about moving to become like, act, like do acting on the show and like then date her and <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. I mean, so like, like Kimberly, I had to, if it makes Kimberly, it feel Kimberly. Well, but Kimberly, like, it was such a short-lived thing. You know what I mean? We're like, Lur like Larissa Atlantic lasted quite some time. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like even when I saw her in Ten Things I Hate About You, I was just like. <gasps> <sighs> so she's your Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp was your childhood crush. Yeah. Oh man. It was Johnny Depp and Will Wheaton. Wow. So, two ends of the spectrum there. Fair enough. It was like 21 Jump Street right. era, and then Star Trek The Next Generation. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, Johnny Depp. I mean, to be fair, mine was a little, is a bit closer to my age, but whatever, yeah. whatever floats your boat. Yeah, have you met me? <laughs> All right, question number two. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? <laughs> Sorry. What's your favorite guilty pleasure song? What are you embarrassed that you like? That I like, uh, song-wise? Yeah. Oh, man, do I have one? Um, so yeah, that's what I said. But majority then... of things, yeah, majority, I pretty much embrace a lot of the things that I kind of like. Um, Womanizer. Womanizer by Britney Spears. Um, and I don't like Britney Spears. I don't listen to Britney Spears. But I was playing, like, Just Dance. You know, that? remember that game? I think yeah. it was for Wii U. and Or, no, the Wii, the regular Wii. And, uh... One of the songs was Womanizer, and I loved doing the dance, and it was, and it's a really catchy tune. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. and, and now that it, like it's funny because like I like covers of her songs. Like I liked uh, August Burns Red covered uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time, Local H cover Toxic, uh, really great songs um, as far as covers go. I don't really care for the originals personally. Womanizer is one I'd like to hear kind of a cover of, and then um, and then there's a podcast that I've been listening to, Britney's Instagram. It's just all about her Instagram page, and it's and they're just talking about like her life and things about it. Yeah, it's it's awesome, and I don't care. Again, I don't care about Britney Spears. I love this podcast. All right. It's fascinating. So, all right. Yeah, that'd be that would be it. Uh, Womanizer by Britney Spears. There you go. That's a good answer. Number three, would you rather fight a horse-sized duck <laughs> or a hundred duck-sized horses? Um. Horse-sized duck, or uh, I'm gonna say the horse-sized duck, really? because yeah, because it'd be like it'd just be the one duck, and like it's it's waddling, right? So it can't really waddle that quickly. I mean, they do. I mean, they do waddle quickly, but it's like I feel like I could avoid it better than I could like a bunch of those little horses that are always like running. You know what I mean? Like they got them four legs. Like four leggers will run way quicker than you than a two legger. Okay. You know what I mean? You got that duck that especially like it's that big. It's just like. Rah, 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 rah. Okay. That. Yeah, and then I, all I gotta do is like duck under a picnic table and I'm good. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I, that completely was different than what I said. Would you answer? You went the other way? I went the other Why? way because uh, I feel like ducks are kind of vicious. 
They are. They're vicious. So no. whereas horses, I mean, they're like buck me, but they're really small, so it's not going to hurt too bad. Just... <laughs> yeah, this. yeah, I guess that's... Kick them out of the way. I mean, it's a lot of horses, but still. Yeah. And then, then what, if it, what if it turns on like... A pet. Or if it turns on like World War Z and they just start climbing up you? Yeah. Like a like, fucking... They don't climb me. Can I curse? Like an anthill? <laughs> Boop. Sorry. All right. Question number four. What's your favorite movie quote? Oh, my favorite movie quote. That is so hard. Um, um, oh, God. Um, oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, come on. I just had it. Um, surrender. You mean you wish to surrender me? Very well. I accept. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Friends that inside. that or anything from, like, Dumb and Dumber. Um, but not, like, the obvious ones. Like, the, like, I like, I like the more, like, subtle quotes. Okay. Yeah, like the Dumb and Dumber ones, like it's, you know, it's it's the same thing with uh, Princess Bride. It's like the, um, I don't know, just, just usually things that aren't like as well known. Yeah. Yeah. Hipster Puente. You like the hipster movie quotes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, number five. Is Harry Potter a hero or actually just a giant dick? Um, what's funny about that and you asking me this question is I don't know much to do anything about Harry Potter. However, we went to uh, Harry Potter World and we went on the Harry Potter ride and I was very livid and angry at Harry Potter <laughs> because that little prick, he's flying, like you're, you're on that little ride, right? And he's flying his broom and he starts looking back and he starts mocking you. He's like, oh, why don't you, ki why don't you keep up? What, you know, what, you're slipping behind. It's like, listen here, you little asshole. Like... <laughs> Just because just because it's magic doesn't mean it flies itself. You still got to drive the damn broom. Like, don't be looking at me. Like, how about you pay attention to what you're doing? I'm not a magic person. This is my first time. Like, and he's like all kind of like, yeah. So he's a, he's a, he's a little dick. He's a dick. He's a little dick. A little Harry right. Potter dick. He's not even a giant dick, a little dick. Yeah. He's <laughs> tiny, man. You ever seen him? In real tiny life? Man. You know, like 14-year-old Puente, I look just like Harry Potter. Really? Yeah, I'm so mad that like one, I was a couple years older. And then two, like I wasn't cast. Like I could be, I could be, I could like, oh, wow. I could fund the shim bus. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'd all be wow, like driving yeah. around tour, you know, city like, to city. Been set for life. It'd have been amazing. All right, but so. I could be dating Larissa Olenek. <laughs> Living my childhood dream. My other childhood dream came true though. I got to be in the Indiana Jones show. So I guess, I guess one is enough, right? Yeah, well you still try. You can still try for her. Larissa Olenek. She was on uh, Mad Men. watching. She was on Mad Men. Yeah, please. I mean, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so I will pass this card to you. Aww. Now it's your turn to find someone and ask these questions to them. Thank you. Book club. Oh, yeah. By the way, plug your social media and anything you want to plug. Uh, T-E-L-E-U-T-E-D-P-U. That's Tellute Deepu uh, on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, nothing to plug right now. There's a lot of things that I keep trying to do that don't ever really happen but as soon as they happen if you follow me on uh mostly on twitter t-e-l-e-u-t-e-d-p-u bloop bloop then uh yeah you'll be able to find me and find what i'm up to uh shimmerwrestling.com um that's pretty yeah. much it yeah awesome yeah. all right well thanks a lot hey thanks for having me all right milo beasley show yeah, yeah. hot tag hot tag Go. All right. The flower do si do. <laughs> buttermilk biscuits. <laughs> Good. Have you never heard Sir Mr. Lot's buttermilk biscuits? No. No.